Hey guys and girls, so today I just want to review how I like to hang and screw off or screw down my drywall. So what I personally like to do is I like to use just a small drill. This one has just a little countersink um, drywall bit on it. So what happens with this is you drill in and as it gets close and close to the drywall surface it'll actually just set that screw in and I like using this little setup here because I can go around and I can actually hang this sheet quite simply just with a small tool and then I'll go back and I'll actually fasten this whole sheet down I'll go about every foot in between or as needed so I like to hang, like I said, and secure that drywall around the perimeter with this one here. Now, there is other products out there. This one's called a dimpler. So it works on the same premise that it'll actually dimple that drywall so that there's a place for the drywall mud to go into and cover that screw. I like it and I don't like it. It works okay. Um, it leaves a pretty good dimple in there. I don't know. I It's kind of hit and miss. It does work. When it does work good, it works really great. When it doesn't, it's not as good. And it's a little bit slower, obviously, depending on what kind of drill you're going to put this into. Uh, if you put it into a standard drill, obviously, it's going to be a little bit faster. But nothing will be as fast as an actual drywall gun. So this has an adjustable depth on it in case the drywall is maybe a little bit tougher um, you can set it in a little bit further you can actually use this for um, laying subfloor and stuff like that too um, but it's not really made for that uh, it's a drywall gun so this particular one here it's a rigid I bought it because it happened to be the cheapest at the time um, and rigid makes some pretty good quality stuff in my opinion they're not uh, necessarily commercial grade but they're a step above uh, homeowner or uh, DIY uh, quality in most cases so this one here actually goes up to 4000 rpm uh, which is perfect for putting in uh, drywall screws like this with fine threads I will mention that this is actually a steel stud behind here that's why I've only used one inch screws that's all you need really for steel stud because you're only going into something that's, you know, however many gauge thick, it doesn't need much to grab. And I also like using the one inch with the steel stud screws, or steel studs, because there's insulation behind there. And if the screws are too long, they'll actually start grabbing that insulation and actually pulling it. So another thing I want to mention too, is you can see that I've got my laser set up here. So what I did first is I marked out at the top where those studs were so that I could find them later. Some people might think that this is too, too tedious to, um, you know, set up the laser every time, but I find that I miss less once I have the laser set up. Then I can just take my drill. You can crank on the the trigger and hold on to it. And it's done. You can see how quick that is. Everything's set in really nice. It's pretty much perfect. You'll go and you'll take your drywall knife and you'll cover that perfect. So that's just a couple of tips on how to go and complete uh, screwing up the drywall and uh, make for a really good finish process. This is really quick. Again, this is just the way that I like to do it. I'm by no means an expert at all, but um, I do have some experience and I find that this works the best for me. So if you guys and girls really like this thumbs up you don't like it thumbs down think about clicking that subscribe button because uh, I'm adding content frequently until the next time thanks